What's going on guys, Gaston right here, and today we're gonna be talking about a pretty awesome announcement. Now this one is gonna be a Sony. We've been covering a lot of Canon stuff. We're a little fit up with Canon for the moment. So this one talks about a new sensor that is going to be doing pretty amazing stuff. This may be also a way to compete with all the new development from Canon. So in this video, we're gonna tell you what we found out right after the intro. And welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gaston. I'm a photographer from Miami. I do gear reviews, tutorials, and behind the scenes. So if you like this type of videos, consider hitting the subscribe button and also the notification button to be notified every time my content goes up. All right, so basically we're talking about a spec sheet that Sony actually has leaked. And what do you think that's gonna happen when someone leaks some information and we can actually get a hold of that? What do you think is gonna happen, Nabori? The competition's gonna get in trouble. Yeah, probably they are doing this on purpose. And guess, we're gonna talk about it. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about this sensor and I'm gonna tell you the part number. It is the IMX6718QR. This is an APS-C sensor and this is the data sheet for this sensor. The version of this data sheet is, or, or sensor is the 0 0.0.3. Now that means that this is in its early stage. That's the first piece of information we have. Now the second piece of information is that this sensor is gonna measure diagonally 28.3 millimeters, right? So now let's read a little bit of the specs that we have right here. It says description. The IMX6718QR, what a heck of a name of course, is a diagonal 28.3 millimeter type 1.8 CMOS active pixel type image sensor with square pixel array of 43M effective pixels. So we're talking about a sensor capable of 43 megapixels of resolution. Now, I haven't actually heard of an APS-C sensor capable of 43 megapixel unless I'm missing something or unless I'm so submerged into Sony. And the fastest APS-C sensor that we have with the most resolution is the 24 megapixel, which is the same sort that the A6600 uh, uses and a bunch of the other A6000. Now, have you heard of any APS-C sensor, Noboru, that actually more than Canon has one, I think it's 36? Uh, 30.3, but I think that there is the M6 is 32 or 36, something like that. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, 43 megapixels, that is, probably is the first sensor that I know of that resolution. Comment down below if you know another camera that can shoot more than that in APS-C. Now, check this out. 16-bit digital output makes it possible to read out the signal of 43 megapixels at high speed in still picture mode. So we're gonna get the 16-bit depth for color, which is awesome, which is basically what we've been using in the A6600. Now, there is a piece of information that I'm gonna read right now, and this is probably the highlight of this video. It talks about of this sensor capable of 12-bit digital output for high-speed AK moving picture by window readout mode. Now, we're talking about AK video at 12-bit. Did you hear that? Yeah. What's that? We just covered the Canon announcement like AK at 10-bit. Now, we're talking about AK at 12-bit. Of course, the sensor is smaller, so probably we have more capability to bump up the bit. But 12-bit AK most likely is going to allow her to be internally, I mean, that will make sense. And it says this sensor is designed for use uh, in consumer use of digital cameras. And now what Sony is doing right here is giving a bunch of disclaimers like, listen, if you're gonna be using this sensor for anything else, we're not with you, you're on your own. It basically says that. So it says Sony Corporation does not warranty the quality and reliability of this product, therefore, don't use the sensor for any other application than a consumer camera. So basically what they're saying is like, look, listen, um, we are good for designing sensor for cameras. Now, if you're gonna be using the sensor to, I don't know, patrol uh, a, a camera on the street or maybe uh, some sort of uh, camera to open heart surgery, we don't, want, we don't wanna be responsible of any of that, of any that can happen. So people, you know, we can mess up with images and stuff like that, but please do not use the sensor for anything that is going to be crucial. That's basically what it says right here. Now let's talk about the first feature in this data sheet of this sensor. This is going to be an APS-C sensor, right? It's not gonna be full frame. Now that explains probably why they can actually squeeze 12-bit and probably it's gonna be internally for all I know. 
But um, it is an APS-C size sensor, and this is going to be incredible to have something so small like the A6600, or maybe if they desire rehousing something a little bit bigger, and probably for AK, it makes sense to make the body a little bit bigger. This is probably one of the reasons why in the past, you know, all the leaks and rumors that we saw for the new body was actually more like an A7 III, because probably in order to shoot AK video, we're gonna need some sort of cooling or better airflow performance on this body. So it makes a lot of sense for the body to imagine it a little bit bigger. And now things start to check, right? Um, also, it's gonna have an input clock frequency of 72 megahertz, if you care about that. All pixel read a mo, various read a mo, asterisk, and it says, please refer to the data sheet for bindings and sampling detail of read a modes. We don't have the other piece of the data sheet, so we only have this portion right here. But there's another piece of information right here that also can be very groundbreaking, especially when talking about APS-C size sensor. Now, it says rolling shutter function moving picture mode. Now, what do you take by that? Navoru, what do you think by that? Rolling shutter, it's gonna have a rolling shutter built in. Any idea? No. Nope. All right, I have some ideas because I shoot with APS-C cameras and I shoot fast motion. And the camera of choice right now is the a 6600 which I've been using almost daily. And one of the problems that you have with rolling shutters with those cameras, and basically with every APS-C camera out there, is the uh, sensor read, or the, the speed that the sensor reads. So when you have something panning like this, or the camera is panning like this, the sensor is reading line by line. So now imagine this moving like that, right? And the sensor does a pass, and this is moving, now it's here. By the time it reaches to the second line, this already moved here. By the time it reaches the third line, it already moved. So you're getting the readout of you know, the sensor. Um, actually, you're getting the slow speed of the sensor readout in a visible manner. So this is rolling shutter. Now, this camera is gonna have a mode that probably is gonna compensate all that rolling shutter internally. Now, that can actually be huge. The camera and the sensor, you know, probably the sensor is gonna allow that to happen. So this is gonna be great, great, great news, guys. So this is basically it, guys. I mean, there's more information here. You can actually read it yourself, or you can actually, uh, I'm gonna list a link where you can actually find the spec sheet so you can read it for yourself. There's more information here. But to know that there is a new API camera coming to the market with AK capability 12-bit that can be a game changer for a lot of us content creator now a lot of us are not gonna shoot AK but having the AK quality to actually downsample to 4k or HD is going to be really amazing all right guys so this is it for today I hope you had enjoyed this leak <laughs> this leak and as always, subscribe to the channel if you like the type of content that I bring to you guys at no cost. Make sure to hit the notification button to be notified every time my content goes up. And until then, guys, see you later. Take care.